Hello friends. In this video, I am going to show you how to display an error messages in the model dialog. So, uh, for example, I have a one case. For example, uh, create a car loan. Now here, just I am entering, and when I click on this button, enter a loan number. Now, if the people are not entering the loan number and click on submit i just want to show the error message yes the error message is coming in the in the uh, background screen but uh, my client requirement is i want to show that error messages in this model dialog in this model dialog how to do this in pega okay so very simple uh, actually open this model dialog so this model dialog is nothing but a one flow action and let me show you the implementation as well this is my just a section enter a loan number i am in the work car loan class when you click on this enter a loan number on click local action as usually i am displaying one flow action i am loading one flow action this is my flow action open i am opening the flow action this is my flow action here uh, there is no validation here in the action tab i am doing the run activity post loan number post loan number here i am doing the validation in the post loan number when the loan number is equal to empty when the loan number is equal to empty continue events if false okay skip step uh, you can do this you can continue whatever the logic you want now here i am setting the page set messages page set messages is uh, enter a loan number page set messages enter a loan number so this is the one message rule okay in this in this just field value in this field value i have entered the error message i have entered the error message please enter a loan number etc but my requirement is now in the flow action second assignment where is this this is my flow action right what is the section of this flow action what is the section of this flow action second section in the second section just a loan number it is just a one field loan number and that's it nothing is here now the moment when they click on enter a loan number okay the pop-up window is loading with cancel and submit model dialog by default these are the options in this my section just loan number when i click on this submit it is calling the post loan number post processing activity here i am setting the error messages page set messages when the loan number equal to empty but here the problem here when you click on this one please enter a loan number the error message is displaying in the back end screen in the background screen now i want to display the same error messages in the model dialog so where do you display this uh, error messages in the model dialog this is the flow action and you can open the section second section here in this section somewhere you have to display the error messages now what i am doing is i am just copy paste of the same section paste above here inside this layout i want to display the error messages we have the OOTB section we have a one OOTB section and call it as a display errors we have a one OOTB section call it as a display errors i am embedding embedding that section okay so display errors which is from the base class which is from the base class display errors that's it click on submit you no need to do anything just click on save cancel when you enter the launch 
now here by default some space is coming i'll also show you when you click on submit see this one please enter a loan number please enter a loan number now come back here display errors is the ootb section if you want you can open this as well now see this one by default it is in the edge rate of base class and this is the dynamic layout here what they have implemented is we have a library called it as a string utils in this cross scripting filter tools dot get the primary page dot get the messages all tools dot get the primary pages dot what is the primary page clipboard page what is the primary page here clipboard page now if you want uh, you can open that so here uh, uh, the primary page is our py work page primary page is our py work page now i'll do one thing click on cancel cancel uh, save and close i want to create a one new case car loan now let's see clipboard now what is the case id c 320 12 now when you click on enter a loan number and click on submit refresh this so somewhere it is displaying in the test page it is not correct it should display on the primary page one second delete when you click on enter a loan number and click on submit okay this message is coming now here what is the message here string utils dot cross tools dot get a primary page dot get message solve this is the ootb function this is the ootb function layout format etc visibility condition visibility condition uh, has messages visibility condition has messages and here somehow i am not able to okay it is checking it is checking and it is fetching if the primary page is having any error messages it is displaying all those error messages it is displaying all those error messages and that's it now if you want you can customize this as well you can save as into your local rule set versions and you can change this background as well just click on save or if you don't want to reuse the display error you can also follow the similar format you can also follow the similar uh, format now display error set the rate of base class right now what i am doing is my own errors my errors that's it i am just creating click on create and open see this one label what is the value string utils dot etc now if you want you can change this as well this is also one more label okay error instead of error errors list okay you can do like this you can customize whatever you want and you can change the background as well you can change this is the container format is errors right you can change this background as a uh, notifications just notifications you can display just uh, just for the sake of customization i am changing now come back your section here instead of display errors my errors my errors i am selecting this one you can use any one of this ootb section or else you can customize it but ultimately uh, you have to get that messages you have to get that primary page messages 
whatever the error messages which are there in the primary page you can get those messages by using the tools dot get cross script get all prime get primary page dot get all messages etc using that function you can fetch all those error messages and you can display it and whatever the format you want so in this way you can display the error messages in the model dialog I'm just loading the page again one second uh, so after customization of that error message section uh, we just want to show that uh, error message details again in the model dialog now here where is my second section? Okay, section my checked out record. Second section, and I'm just again opening my my errors. Here I am displaying my errors. Click on submit and save. Now just run the car loan case once again. Or if you want, you can launch the car loan case in the portal as well. Now save and run. I already explained there is a one section there is a click on launch button opening the model dialog in the model dialog section there is a one flow action in that flow action I am loading this section okay now okay enter the loan number submit See this one error list please enter loan number like this whatever the uh, in which way you want to customize that section also you can customize it and there is a one more option so by default when you click on this this some space is occupying here so for this also here you can add or you can display visibility condition condition has messages 
there is a one over tb when rule has a messages so if this page is having any error messages then only you can display it then only this layout will be displayed otherwise it won't display now see this one click on cancel enter a loan number see by default by default it is not showing it is not uh, occupying some space because the dynamic layout is not loading because i have added a when rule what is that when rule uh, if has messages has messages open this when rule so here this is again ootb when rule it is checking whether that primary page having any error messages or not if the primary page is go to that one see this one has messages of my step page okay has messages of my step page okay currently your step page is having any error messages i don't have any error messages at this moment right so that's why by default this dynamic layout is not loading so in this way in this way you can show the error messages you can show the error messages uh, using in the model dialog by using your own sections by default the model dialog section does not come up with the uh, error layouts error layouts okay i hope you understand this video so in the post action okay in the post action what i have implemented i will show you that as well okay where is this flow action okay this is my flow action mm. so here this is the loan detail submission in the loan detail submission itself right again i am showing you on click local action this is my local action second assignment here in the action in the post processing activity post loan number here i am checking page set messages you when loan number equal to empty similarly you can also use a property set messages can also use property set messages when loan number equal to empty similarly here also property set messages but the difference is in the property set messages you have to enter the field number for which field you want to highlight loan number now try again cancel enter a loan number and click on submit this time see this one loan number please enter a no loan number here by default so either you can use the property set messages or you can use the page set messages by using the activity if you don't want to do it with activity as in my one of my video i i explained how to set an error messages using the data transform okay instead of that okay i don't want to do this all these things then you can go with the you can go with the uh, validation rule go to um, i don't want to do it i don't want to do it with the uh, post action etc okay i want to go with the validation also you can go with the validation okay validate loan number just open this validate loan number here i am not writing anything just accept required conditions conditions is required okay now where is this flow action yeah save now run the case again enter a loan number now click on submit this field may not be a blank because this time i am not writing i am not writing any activity i am achieving the same thing by using the validate rule this one this validate rule okay so these many ways you can set an error messages uh, in the model dialog i hope you understand video